Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna look at the new theming feature of FL21. That's right, FL21 is out! It's currently in release candidate mode, which means that we have a version that is very close to the one that is gonna be the official release and anybody who has bought a license can just go into the forums and download this release candidate and test them for themselves. I'm gonna put a link in the description for that if you have somehow completely missed it. So yeah, as you probably noticed, my FL Studio is pink now. <laughs> this is like a hyper pop producer's dream. Yeah, I don't really produce hyper pop, but I guess I should start doing that now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do a little overview on the theme feature itself. And then in this video, I'm also gonna host a giveaway of three FL Studio licenses. So if you're somebody who doesn't own FL Studio yet, or if you know like a friend who would like to get FL Studio, share this video to them so they can get a chance to win a free license. But yeah, more on that later. So let's go into the options. And here we have this new theme setting option. And now the themes show up as their own tab with all the other options that were already here. So I'm just gonna cycle through the themes that are provided with the installation. So when you install the release candidate, you're gonna get all these themes. And fun fact, I actually made most of these themes. <laughs> so yeah, I was asked to work on some themes. I've been working with ImageLine for a couple of weeks now. So I've been making these themes and kind of testing the feature and also doing some other random stuff. We have a couple of these lighter themes and then we have dark themes. Ultra green seems to be a lot of people's favorite so far and it's also my favorite. <laughs> Remember that you can also turn the flat buttons feature on or off. So off you can see these highlight colors, but I kind of prefer it with flat buttons because it looks a little bit cleaner. Okay, I'm gonna move this here and try not to have my face cover all the relevant stuff. So here we have some options. You can adjust the brightness and you can adjust the contrast and the saturation. Then you can also make the hue of the entire interface different. So I could make this green theme look even more green if I wanted to. Then we have a text contrast. So the text contrast affects the browser and certain things in the mixer like these slot numbers. So if I adjust this, you can see that the text changes. So with the text contrast, you can achieve a uniform white color or a uniform black color. And then for other text, you can actually, I'm just gonna reset the theme. You can select whatever color you want. And yeah, the browser is a little bit of a special case because it has so many colors to begin with. So it was kind of something that was decided that we're gonna give you the option to adjust the contrast alone for now. It's a little bit of a, a dilemma. Like, are, are, are we gonna let you adjust all the individual colors or how is that gonna work? So yeah, this is, this is how it was solved at least for now, but it works pretty good. Like you can see in ultra green that the white text works pretty well with the overall vibe of the theme. Then we have this light mode switch. And what this does is it just adds the brightness or sometimes the darkness of certain elements to make them like to improve their visibility in lighter themes. And also we have this audio and automation clips use no color. So what this is going to do is that when you go into the piano roll and open up your no colors, it's going to use the shades as the clip color. So any audio clip or automation clip is gonna come out as like a similar shade as whatever is selected here. So you can get a little bit of a more cohesive project like automatically so that the clip colors aren't just whatever. So we can do a little test. I'm just gonna throw some stuff here so you can see that it comes out as green. And another thing that the note colors also affects is the event editor. So here, if I open up an event editor for any control, you can see that the color when I paint 
on it is similar to the ones in the note colors. Let's look at some other theme like light cherry. So here you notice that the clips, like they don't change color with the theme. And this is because you have to be able to color things like for organization purposes. So we can't just override your <laughs> selected clip colors. So this is why these are still green. So it's kind of like if you change the theme then you might want to recolor everything, but it, it's it's really impossible to color them for you as the theme changes because then we could potentially mess up some users' organization if they have particular clip colors that they want to be the same every time. So yeah, I'm gonna show real quick in, in case you didn't know, you can go to view and then note colors and here you can edit the note color palette easily. Oh, and another thing that also is going to save with the theme is grid color. So I could select any kind of a grid color. I'm just going to turn it pink and then go to options and save the theme. So save preset and give it some name. And now I'm going to toggle the theme so you can see that the grid color is going to be attached to the theme and the same is true for the piano roll grid color. So wallpapers will also now be tied to a specific theme. So just put your wallpaper into the folder where the themes are. I'm gonna put some kind of a, a clue on the screen if you don't know the file path. But anyways, the same folder where you have the theme files and then when you save a theme, with a wallpaper, it's going to automatically assign the correct wallpaper into the theme. So for example, Ultra Green has this custom wallpaper, which is basically just the default fruit, but I've given it a different color. So, so now when I've saved this theme with this wallpaper, it's going to open up correctly when you have it in the right folder. And now I also want to talk about thumbnails. So I've made these thumbnails kind of like this. I'm going to show the arrangement that I've done. So, so the channel rack is at the top. Then I have a mixer. I've set it to white alt mode and kind of shape it like this. I've saved a workspace arrangement, but it's in a different version. So it's not in this release candidate. And then I've also done some Photoshop magic. So I've had some stuff playing in the playlist and I've taken screenshots of the meters to get them to show up. And then I've put some uh, clips in the side here, but I've kept the playlist empty because it kind of looks cleaner. You don't want the thumbnail to look like somebody's used project, essentially. <laughs> At least I think it, it kind of looks better that way that it's not like full of stuff on the playlist. And then it's basically just a matter of taking a screenshot and saving that. And you need to save that into the theme folder. And then you're gonna type as the file name, it's gonna be THM and then the name of the theme, like the what name you saved your theme as. And it's gonna be a PNG file. And then when you put it into the folder, it should show up as the thumbnail. And here, all of these pictures are really small, like I've made them super small, but it's also fine if they are like the original resolution, you don't necessarily have to make them smaller, but if you want to save space, then you can make them smaller. And the dimensions are just like your basic HD, like what is it, 16 to nine resolution. So I've actually made you some extra themes. So, so you've already seen bubblegum, I'm gonna be giving this to you and then I also made this purple theme. Let's look at the meter colors. And then finally, wintertime sadness. <laughs> so this theme is a little bit of a weird one. I have turned the brightness and the contrast all the way down, but it makes for this sort of a uniform tone look, which I really like. So that's my overview on themes. I kind of wanted to give you this perspective of somebody who sort of participated in the making of it. So all these three themes that I showed you, I'm gonna put a link into the description so you can download them. And then you'll just extract the files into the themes folder like we we've gone over. And currently there's actually a contest for 
theme. So you could submit your own theme and then the best one is going to be selected to be included with FL Studio. So your theme could be included here with all the other presets. So in the image line forums, there is a thread for this contest. So yeah, get the release candidate if you haven't yet and start making themes and submit your theme in there so you can get your theme right next to all the other stuff here. And now it's time to talk more about the giveaway. So I'm gonna give three FL Studio licenses to three lucky winners. <laughs> so if you want to participate in this giveaway, just leave a comment saying that you wish to do so and like this video and you're in. The winner will be drawn at random. So if you win, I'm gonna be in contact and get your information and give that to ImageLine. So somebody's gonna be in touch and send you your license. Okay, I think that's about everything. This was my introduction to themes. I hope you have fun with it and make some awesome themes and participate in the theme contest. Please consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing some FL Studio related content. I do some patcher tutorials from time to time and I also have some other type of content. Like I like to test old DAWs, like DAWs from the 90s and that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, you can consider subscribing. Okay, time to go. See you in the next video.